Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So, excuse my natural fuzzy, frizzy hair or whatever, but we doing this hair today, okay? We just chilling, but anyway. Okay, so Chanel, um, I'm just gonna make, basically I'm gonna make this into my move out vlog. Um, obviously I didn't move, I didn't look, I didn't vlog the move out process, but yes, in other words, just so you guys, in case you guys didn't know, which I'm sure you guys didn't know, um, we moved out. So we moved out, out of our apartment and now we finally basically have a home. Um, we're renting, of course, we're renting a home. And in first for starters, it is not fancy. It is not, you know, anything drastic. But I am definitely content. I definitely still feel like it's an upgrade because we have two bedrooms now. We have two bathrooms. Um, really in reality it's like having three showers because we have like a bathtub and a shower in our restroom and then in the other room we have a bathtub as well and shower you know like the one that's put together the one you know but over here we have it like it's literally like jacuzzi vibes but it's just a bathtub if that makes sense if you know what i'm talking about but yeah so honestly i'm just excited about the space because obviously like in my old apartment it was just getting a little too like Four or so like if you guys know cluttered I I just didn't have any room um, especially not any room to even decorate the way that I wanted to of course so that is why I never did like a like a tour or anything like that like an apartment tour or how do I keep my this or that so now eventually that's my ultimate goal um, obviously I'm taking my time because I really do want to make it nice and cute um, like exactly what I envisioned but um, eventually just expect I probably will do like a like either like a closet or like a you know or like I don't know just like a little tour or just like show you guys bits and pieces of how I keep like my clothes or like purses or things like that I don't know my makeup area I don't know you know something you guys might be interested in for sure I'll have a business room tour eventually because long story short the second bedroom was supposed to be for baby girl we my intentions were like for baby to have her own space of course and just to spoil her actually the way that i wanted to and for her to just have freedom and i would probably still put like a tv in there and like a chair for me to be working on business i'm sorry business stuff but then i realized it was best to just kind of keep her toys like give her a little toy area in our living room since our living room is pretty big and spacious so that's what i decided and instead i'll be taking over the business room for like filming purposes but also just literally for business like business things um because i have a lot of things and i definitely more things will be launching at lash dolls little by little because i just don't have the time to just do it all at once but yeah i have so many things and um yeah so uh you guys will see that eventually or whatever but um what was, the, what was i saying oh yeah so long story short i've been purchasing things here and there and that is why um slowly gonna decorate everything but like the room to the business room one i feel like i'll probably film that process because i think that's actually like exciting and entertaining to watch but this one um right now i just wanted to show you guys some of the things that i picked up within the last week or so just like new things that i just had to pick up for this new home just to give it a little touch and um also just to give you guys um a little vlog because i wanted to i hope i'm planning on posting this vlog pretty frequent maybe like uh maybe like four or five days from now you know and that's frequent to me because i know i post my vlogs weeks later weeks later or months later so i really do want to edit this one after i finish editing right now i'm editing a burlington haul so after that one i do plan on putting this one so it could be an updated one so yeah For the both of us Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why you true Okay guys So We've officially moved home I haven't vlogged but we're in a new home Something completely different More space, two bedrooms, two bathrooms And yeah so then I I've been wanting to um, Rent to Dee Dee's just to see what they have And um Honestly, just mainly to see what they have. Really nothing major that I really, really needed. But I'm just going to show you guys what I bought. Because I bought a few things. But first, I'm going to show you guys the things that I bought. For, basically for our home. I bought this bin. Just to show you guys, I bought it for, you know, Didi's comes through. It's super affordable. Look, $4.99. It's a cute little trash bin, as you guys can see. I really don't know if I'm going to use it, like, in what room or what area. But I just want to show you guys. And then I bought these for... 
$2.99. They're super cute. They're gold. This one has like pink little roses. Obviously, they're fake. But it looks super cute like on top of something. Like any little, you know, look how cute that looks. So, you know, I love um, buying little plants that I can put anywhere just to make it make it look cute. This is $2.99 as well. But it's um, white roses. But they're super cute as well, like I said. So, I'm not sure where I'm going to be putting these. But, you know, they're tiny, but they're really cute. But then I bought this super duper cute one. For $9.99, it's pretty big, as you guys can see. Really big, but I love it. I think it looks so cute. I, I bought this one with the intention of putting it on a little small like a dining table that um, we are going to have. It's gonna be black, so I see the vibes if you guys can picture it like on a black table. Super cute. So I got that for ten dollars. I'm really proud of that because I've been wanting to buy like a big like you know, like something like that with like flowers that looks really cute to decorate. So I got that. And then I also bought these cool um, LED lights. They're um, solar powered or whatever. And you can, so like basically they recharge with the, um, with the, with the sun, but on their own. And they, yeah, look, like you can put them on, like on steps, you know, on the staircase, or you can put them like, I get, I think you can also put it, you see it says light stairs, patio decks and more. So I kind of either want to use it on the stairs that we have outside or, of course on the like just the patio itself um it comes with four so i thought it was a good deal i think i only pay like six bucks or so for these i really don't know but they look super cute you guys see that so i'll show you guys probably later on if i do put them on and then i also got this one this one as well it's a solar powered light automatic outdoor lighting lights lights for up to eight hours easy to install with nowhere i need it and yeah it's it's solar powered so i like that because we're not even going to be basically wasting no type of light this is just and it's just to add we already have obviously light outside but i just i definitely want it to be brighter and brighter the brighter the better for me because i just yeah so i just wanted to have this one to just add to it so i'm glad i found these for the steps and i'm glad i found the this one just to add to the wall to have another one uh, facing the cars i guess you can say and then I also got this, which I had been wanting, which is also so I can, um, what do you say? Boil the water, yeah, for, so when I drink a lot of tea, honestly, like, um, the de manzanilla, or I, I'm glad I bought this because I use, I usually use a, a regular pan to boil my water, but I feel like this is way more easier and more efficient because sometimes the other pan um, might be dirty from the night before and then I literally have to wash it just to make my tea and I, it's annoying to me because I like to drink my tea in the morning. And then I bought this cutting board, which is cute. Obviously it's opened up now because Shana was playing with it. She opened it, but it's pretty huge because I, I really needed like a bigger one. You guys can see it's pretty big. I needed like a bigger one than the one that we already have. And I like that it's wide on this side, but it also has like detailing here to where it doesn't look, you know, it just looks cute. And then for um, other random things, I got this um, because I love this. this. It was obviously on sale for $1.99. My mom also bought this for Nana. It's similar to the one that I bought. Um, I think it was from the $0.99 cent store. Or I don't know what store, but but this one is it's with an actual ball. So you put it, you each, it comes with two of these and you each put it in your hand. And then you throw the ball around and you catch it. Basically like playing catch, I guess, but with this. And yeah, it's pretty fun. And I have the other one, but the other one's like a different, it's like the sticky, other type of sticky, like silicone. So I was like, for this price, might as well just get the other one because it's actually something fun. And, you know, I can always just have backup since it's on sale. This was also on sale for $1.49, guys. I thought it was really cute and I was like, let me just buy her this little pizza cutter and I'll play with her. I also got this for $2.99, just $3. Wait till it focus. There you go. Because it's honestly, I think it's just like a clear little stroller. It's a stroller carrier and netting. Or stroller and carrier netting. So basically it's, oh, okay. I just realized it's also for mosquitoes. So they won't bit, like bite her. Oh, I like that. And uh, mosquitoes and other insects, universal fish ones. Oh, I was actually thinking this whole time that it was for when it rains. Tuh. Which is even better that it's for mosquitoes. I really like that because if we're ever somewhere and I have to literally do this, I can just carry this one around. Um, 
I also got baby girl these cute little shoes for seven dollars there's some little guarachitos but I love the comfort of them if you guys can see they're like I don't know how to explain it. it's super super comfortable like I can tell she's gonna be really comfortable wearing these they look cute they have little gold shiny detailing so I know she can definitely you know look really cute when she wears them but also be really comfortable and then I also got some books because I don't know if I mentioned it but baby girl has been loving books literally for a while now and she has obviously like a few books maybe like three or four the most um so now i really want to start purchasing more books for her to just enjoy because honestly they're you know she really like she's really starting to like them like she'll sit down and be with like looking through a book for a while like it lands like, you know, so i was like why not this one was 1.99 and it says numbers colors and shapes so it has like a little bit of everything i'm pretty sure she'll definitely be entertained you know by looking at all of this and then as she's growing up i can definitely start teaching her you know like a lot of these things like the colors the shapes the animals everything so i thought that that was really cute and for basically two dollars i was like not bad at all i need to get in and it's definitely the type that i can carry around because it's not that big. Moving on, I also got this, The Three Little Pigs, because everybody loves this story. It was only $3.99. I loved it. Everybody knows it. And I just feel like it's like obviously that thick, good, cushiony material that I was like, it's worth the investment. Honestly, like, this is really cute. Like, the graphics, everything looks so good that I was like, this is probably one of the nicest Three Little Pigs books that I've ever seen. Because it looks more, like, new and up to part, I guess you can say. Like I said, this is really, like, cushiony as you guys can see so i got that for 3.99 for baby girl i bought these earrings 4.99 and it comes with a whole bunch of like hoop earrings you know i love uh hoop earrings i love gold i love the little diamonds the studs all of that so i thought it was a good deal you guys can see you guys will see me wearing these because you all i always leave them or they break or something okay <laughs> I got Bola from Boxers, which we're not going to show. <laughs> and then I also got my dad some socks to send him whenever I do send him stuff. And then, oh yeah, I'm almost done. I got Chanel this cute little outfit. Okay, so I got Chanel this cute little outfit. I don't know if you guys can see. It comes with the little shorts, but also the top. Super duper cute. You guys see that? It looks pretty huge. It is 3T. Um, I'm trying to show you guys. It's 3T, but it's honestly not that huge as it looks. Like, I feel like on camera it's looking super huge. But on my baby, like, this probably already fits her. Or if not, if it, it might, the shirt, if anything, might fit her, like, a little bit long. But for sure, literally, within, like, a few months, like, literally, like, she's gonna, it's gonna fit her perfectly. Because I was gonna grab the 2T, but I was like, the 2T will definitely fit her, like, a la mera medida right now. And I was like, I'd rather grab the 3T because, like, as you guys know, Baby Girl does have quite a few outfits to still wear. So I was like, I don't want to get her, you know, an outfit, like, it's specifically just her size already. And then, ya no le quede because, or I don't get a chance to put it on her because she has other clothes that I still need to put on her. But like, when I saw this, I thought it was super duper cute. Uh, I don't know, I can't really show it because I, basically, I, I, um... I pushed it all the way so it could be even shorter so now it's kind of like you know adjusted it hasn't adjusted completely but it's basically like a side um like a side little purse if that makes sense if you guys can see it's like a crossbody I mean but obviously it's in the shape of a backpack and if she now wants to carry it like this right now she can and it's super tiny guys let me show you guys look but it's like super cute like she can definitely fit a few things in here obviously like if it was like for a grown-up use that i decided to use it or something obviously i would be able to fit like my phone and still be able to fit fit like my keys like some hand sanitizer my mask lip gloss probably even like my little lotion or something and um obviously my money etc so i thought this was so cute but obviously i got it for her because obviously this is from the grown-up section but because i'm pretty sure grown-ups be wearing these but I thought it was cute for my baby, so that's what I got her. And then my mom bought me this, which is really cute of her. Honestly, I was like, she doesn't have to, but she bought me this frame. It was $5.99, just so I could be able to put, like, my, um, 
graduation photo and she was like just so I could have it around and I thought that was really cute so yeah shout out to my mom for buying this for me and I also bought my mom I should record it an olla for tamales um it was a decent size like the one that I have bought myself it's about this big because she, my mom has a lot my mom already probably has like three or four ollas for tamales but obviously some of them are old some of them I had bought her and not too long ago I believe it was like last maybe like a year ago exactly I bought her like a medium sized one because she had like a big one and so she obviously needs like different sizes you know so she could have like multiples and etc or for when she only wants to make a little bit so I had got her like the medium one that she had been wanting but then right now when we were at the store like I the um I noticed last time she had mentioned that she wanted like the itty bitty tiny one so that she could you know really have something small for whenever she just wants to make like a little bit a little bit or she wants she wants to make you know other type of food so I purchased that one for her I think it was like 12 bucks or so but it was like a good size it was like a like a smaller version but about my mom's that so yeah that's about it guys but i think i spent like 111 or something it was under 120 bucks but i'm very satisfied with the purchases i feel like i didn't splurge i didn't unbox this or anything i didn't buy anything that i feel like i didn't need it or my baby you know needed i obviously just got her some books an outfit shoes a cute little purse a toy this for her cariola. This is really a grown up toy, if anything. I bought things for the kitchen and etc. and decor and trash that I needed. So I'm happy. But, anyways, like I said, you guys ignore the mess. We, I'm really excited for this. Change the toilet paper over there, OMG. This is sponsored by Flora. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. No, it's not. But, anyways, yes. And yes, we did use trash bags to pack a lot of things just because it was really like a fast move. Like, hurry up and let's go. Um, uh, because we honestly didn't have time to like pack ahead of time and take my time So obviously I have a lot of bags where I like packed up things just like for example right there But there's still there were still obviously a lot of things that didn't fit in, in a lot of my bags, etc So we have to just you know pack stuff up and go but yeah I'm super excited for this change. I look rough. That is why I'm not on camera. But just know I'll be vlogging pretty much soon. Um, speaking about everything. And yeah. Keeping you guys posted. But just know that new content. I feel like everything's coming out. Slowly but surely. So I'm super excited. And yeah. I just gotta keep grinding. Bye guys bye sorry about my broken nails like i said your girl been grinding okay literally grinding but okay bye right now i've launched my well this is lash dolls the original collection which is full mink uh super cute this is one of my favorite lashes like honestly because just look at that i put it on and it just gives me life like y'all see that i just put some wing liner and it centers perfectly and voila it's like extra but it's not that extra to where you're like bitch what you're doing um and yeah this style is idgaf they're only 10 bucks so girl get you some when i tell you this is the same lash guys i've been wearing like every time i say i'm wearing idgaf or every picture that you guys see on my instagram or my lash page um instagram that says idgaf and it's a picture of me wearing it or video whatever it's the same lash when i tell you i've worn this lash for sure over 20 times for sure over 20 times i have i don't know how many times but it's the same lash and it's still freaking on and going so that's one thing about full mink um as you guys know i launched my mink collection already so if you haven't checked it out or shopped with me go ahead girl only 12 dollars and when i say good quality to ship popping ship popping okay but this one of course like i said my original um collection the foaming collection i feel like it's still definitely very good quality and the thing about foaming it definitely lasts you even longer here my much here baby Ganesh. Ganesh. walking around with a toothbrush i'm dead you know kids that's chanel she literally grabs onto something she finds and holds it walks around with it until she finds something more entertaining and grabs onto it and holds it and walks around with it anyways um back to what i was saying was oh yeah so my um my mink collection has officially launched and if you guys haven't go ahead and check us out lashdollsthings.com i sell accessories sunglasses a little bit of everything all your lash needs foam mink mink you name it uh 25 mm mink lashes are definitely something i'm considering and i think i'm gonna go ahead and drop very soon so just be on the look at it. also more accessories so just just stay tuned okay your girl is working slowly but surely but when i tell you that this was my vision from the jump this was my vision so i don't think otherwise but here is the mink 
packaging for my lash brand like i said you know the original packaging for these lashes are different so i had to switch it up for the um for the mink collection because you know one time for the one time just look how cute i'm sorry about my nail look how cute and bedazzled that looks super cute my logo stamped on the back you guys see that lash dolls by anna doll and this is the style of dream i'm gonna show you guys this one simply because this is the the style that i've been um that i recently wore so i just feel like i might as well show you guys one that i recently wore 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 <laughs> as you guys can see i'll insert the clip right now where i wore them super cute with a bun but these are giving me life as well. So I I'm telling you guys, if you guys aren't fucking with me, that's your laws. Because when we blow up, when Doll Gang blows up, you're going to want to be a part of it. So yeah, with that being said, so much was going on. Honestly, like everything, it's been pretty drastic. Like right now I had to, um, it was my birthday and I believe I launched the Mink Collection after my birthday. But at the same time, oh yeah, I barely launched them. Why am I tripping? Like, I, I barely launched them this past week. And it's barely been two weeks living in our new home. But it's super spacious, as you guys can see. Um, right now, I'm in the living room. When I tell you there's space, baby, there's space. So, I'm super excited. Um, that was my main thing. Like I said, it's not luxurious. It's not, you know. But I, my goal is to, little by little, with the things that I purchase, give it that touch where it looks a little bit more than what it really, you know, than what it really is. And gives, I actually, and actually, like, put my vision to life, you know. My original vision to life. So, yeah that's what that's been about but i've honestly been very busy with doll magic if you haven't follow us on there as well here will be my instagram right here i do um basically anything custom so your girl do custom things okay car decals and um i'm sorry and custom starbucks cups all of that so just um business cards stickers all of that so just follow me on there so much more will be on there as well i'm slowly trying to post i'm barely going to share that page um because i wanted to post my content that i've already been doing for anyways within that i've been busy and then i've been unpacking and all of that so i've only made a few runs to the store barely like yesterday and the day before yesterday so i want to show you guys some of the things that I, we bought that are just for this new home and i just feel like are like yay and um i'll be showing you guys when we at boba actually fixes them up and puts them uh, builds the things as well but for starters like this is one of them super freaking cute because we have this empty wall right here let me turn on these so as you guys can see you guys see those lights oh, i love those lights but anyways i told Bubba we need to move this more down at the moment and tell them yes it's fine because obviously we want to buy another uh couch sofa whatever you want to call it but so i was thinking for that purpose but still i feel like it needs to be at least like right here down here i don't know so he's definitely gonna move but look how beautiful that is it's definitely matching our colors because our colors have always been more like black silver and white i love white and if i could do like a white home that'd be so nice but now that i have chanel girl white is so clean i girl we be eating okay i don't know how people do it but we be eating like we be eating we can't do with the white but i love white but anyway so black and silver and white has always worked out for us because we feel like it's less clean you know but anyways with that being said that was this was 24.99 at target i mean at target the fuck at ross boba bought that 24.99 but it's bomb look how big it is yeah super cute and then moving on i'm just gonna play these items randomly because i have to go so i'm just gonna show you guys randomly some of these things the next items are these big huge trash cans look how pretty they are they're marble obviously they're plastic but when i say they're huge look they're huge they're huge um and they're only freaking like i think they were like three something four dollars at walmart but look how freaking cute they are they're freaking tall so first of all these are like perfect for the restroom because you know <laughs> but look at this so i'm planning on probably keeping this one right here in the living room honestly just for the purpose of just having an extra little cute trash can i don't even know if we'll really put trash in here but i'm gonna put it in our main bathroom so yes moving on um we have these frames where um i got this at dd's yesterday these are super cute look at this hello gorgeous there's three different little frames you guys see that super freaking cute and they were only 10 bucks guys in case y'all didn't like Diddy's is a place to go to shop for like cheap 
just cheap anything honestly this is so affordable and i hadn't really been going honestly anymore but right now that i've realized like i need to go where it's affordable okay and um yeah burlington has been honestly they haven't been stocked on anything so that's sad but um dd seems to be pretty stocked up so yeah i should probably be hitting dd's up i feel like if you're moving somewhere you should always check dd's first i feel like dd's is the most affordable and then i feel like ross and burlington are like average price but i love burlington burlington is my favorite that is like my number one but dd's is definitely affordable so i checked it out and i found this this is gonna go for my business room so stay tuned or whatever definitely gives me my business room vibes you know very girly the color scheme is perfect and yeah moving forward with some more goodies i bought this curtain for the restroom um this one's gonna be for the second like the basically the business room restroom if that makes sense which i feel like that's the restroom that i'm gonna like send people to if we ever have guests of course which i don't know <laughs> but um this is the shower curtain which honestly if you guys oh i don't know I, I mean unless you guys are my friends you know that i used to have this curtain literally this is the one that i had in the apartment and yeah but it's actually the exact same print i don't know if it's focusing but it's actually different because it's like a basically it's the material that can get wet how to explain that it's not like cloth material but i love this print it's like you know I think they're called cherry blossoms super cute and i actually have a cherry blossom plant that i bought from target that goes great and i have two and i put one in each bathroom so i feel like this one's gonna work perfectly because the exact same one and i was like i gotta have it even though it's like different like i said but i basically got it so this one's gonna go for the second bathroom um in ours we don't have a, we don't need a shower curtain because it's like it has a door so yeah you right here oh it's kind of low but let me put y'all right there because i is tired okay another thing we got is from um walmart uh this black extension cord of course i think it was only like one something but these are key you know for your tv for anything you're always gonna need something um to connect to like you know to the plug i guess and yeah so a walmart they have them for like one something but also dollar tree actually has some and i buy some but I, honestly they have only like this this same length and like green so it's kind of not pleasing but if you want it just to put away for like something and just an emergency great for one dollar or they also have the white uh three plugs which i think that's perfect which that's the one that i really like and i feel like it's worth it you connect it and then it has like you know like this length of plugs one two three i think that one's bomb so yeah, dollar tree. I have this, which I bought at Ross. It's uh, basically, it says six tier fabric shelving. It's like a shelf, but of course you guys, I'm pretty sure you guys can see the material. It's kind of, obviously not the most expensive or heavy material, but it's definitely cute. It's gray and black. So it definitely matches my vibes. It was only $10 at ross so i fuck with it and yeah so i honestly i don't know if i'm gonna be using this like in the room just for extra storing whether i could put more purses in here because i have a lot of bags or if i want to put like or for like different things or for clothes but honestly i'm thinking i might take this to the business room if i have space in there for this and i feel like it'll be very very helpful like i, I have a lot of little buckets where I, I like to keep my things separate and organized so i feel like this would definitely help hold that so i don't know either either or 10 bucks i had to grab it i was like i need this okay the next thing is this little basically i guess you could call it a laundry basket because i got it in the laundry section but it was only like 344 it was basically like four bucks or whatever you want to say um and yeah but it's salad guanguito you know but it does what it does like i like it because it has the holders really like you could use it as a laundry basket but in my head i was just thinking like i'm just thinking more like for purposes where i need to carry stuff like i said if i ever have a lot of packagings where you know it starts getting kind of heavy for me and i want to just carry it here or you know when i do cake toppers and i don't want it to break i don't know i just feel like i'm gonna use it somehow so i put it and Bubba got it for me and then Bubba got this baby this cute little purse look at this it's such a cute little doggy whatever it was only 4.99 at ross it's obviously a crossbody but chanel loved it when i showed it to her i showed her two it was a unicorn one and this one and i thought i was like kind of living for the unicorn one. but no she looked at this one and she smiled and i was like oh and she grabbed it she was just playing with it the whole time she was just so serious and i was like yep he has to buy it 
and yeah she loved it she was so happy with it the whole time so i'm like this is so cute i'll show you guys later when she's actually wearing this because as you know i love purses and my baby already loves purses as well as you know i also got her some more headbands well boba did some headbands that were 4.99 at ross so in case you guys are looking for like affordable headbands as well like i always mentioned ross dds and burlington are the way to go they always have some i always check walmart as well sometimes they do but you know like these cute little aesthetically pleasing like instagram boutiques um kind of bows so they're super cute so he got her this one because it kind of keeps a variety like she already has a lot but i was like you know another one doesn't hurt because those are cute these little ones give me like summer vibes prints and then she already has white but she can always have another one she already has pink but she can have another one and then this little cute little blue one i was like yeah perfect and then we got her some more socks because honestly she's growing out of her socks and i don't like that they fit her kind of tight i feel like they're squishing her fingers and like i said i'm a chunkless person so when i see my baby i'm like no she gotta be comfortable so we also got her these they're trolls if you guys can see super cute you know she loves trolls and they were 2 dollars and I believe it's like one, two, three, four, five pairs. I got my little sister some lip glosses because she loves lip glosses. Like she be she every time we get in the car, puts it on, whatever, get off the car, go to a store, get back in the car, puts it back on. So I was like, let me get her some new ones. I'm gonna take these. So that's good that I'm showing you guys. Um I also had to restock on some wipes, some makeup wipes, makeup removing wipes. I fuck with Neutrogena. These are like the best, honestly. Like I, I recommend these if you're oh, why is my shit not focused? I'm sorry guys if it's not focused. But anyways, the Neutrogena uh face removing wipes. I these are only like four something, I believe. And um, but then there's one that comes with like a little box where you can like store them but I can set a second so they won't get dried up. I think that one costs like five or six, and I already have that box. So I recommend you, if it's your first time, buy the one with the box so you could keep the box, and then afterwards just buy these. And I always just refill it and put it in there, and then your white piece lasts you longer, they stay safe, and yeah. So I definitely recommend these. I feel like these work. I feel like definitely, I, I use these for sure when I have a full face of makeup, um, and I just recommend you to use these because I feel like the quality is so good. They're soft on your skin, they're not rough. I've tried other brands, like even the Equate brand or whatever, which comes with a lot, which I still recommend to buy and still use, but I feel like use that whenever you're not really wearing makeup or when you're just wearing like mascara or when you just did your eyebrows and, you know, or you're wearing minimal makeup or, I don't know, you know what I mean? Use that when it's something light, I feel, or just like for everyday use, I don't know. I would, to me, I like to leave my best things for like the weekends. So like when it comes to my best foundations for the weekends, my best everything. So I would say you could use like the other brand Equate, which looks like this. It's blue and big because it comes with like twice as much for the same price. Or I would say like you could use that during the week or only when you wear a little bit of makeup. And then use this one when you wear a full face or at least for sure on the weekend. I recommend it, guys. I recommend it. And then obviously right now the supplies at Walmart are super affordable, guys. If you guys haven't go ahead these were only a dollar i got some more highlighters and then these are just like permanent markers but i just got them because like business supplies period i'm always on my journals writing still taking notes so i feel like you really should stock up right now when it's um time to go back to school because that's when the things are affordable i also bought some more highlighters i'll just put them i'll just show you guys later on i bought some more things the other day on sunday um and then I got me my eyebrow pencil. I'm going to try this one out because as you guys know, I have, ever since the quarantine started, I have not been able to find my freaking eyebrow pencil and it's been hard for my brows, okay? So not too much on my eyebrows, okay? I'm trying to figure it out. So I bought another one. This is like my fourth, fifth one, new one that I buy. I already have like four or five new ones that I bought and I honestly cannot find the right one anymore. I just, I'm struggling out here. I also got some Flanex pills because, and these are for my dad, you know, I always send him things over there in Mexico and these um are for him and his i think i think believe it's for his bones and all that so that's for my dad i always like to stock up and be ready and prepared to send him things i also got these from clarence i don't know i really don't think i should have but i'm like i don't know i'm gonna try these out they were only two bucks so i was like let's see what it is or just for backup makeup you know what i mean i don't know makeup that you could just keep for backup i don't know <laughs> I don't know. I just got it just because. And then this is my face. Um, this is what I've been washing my face with now, guys. Um, it's Neutrogena for like, for like my pimples. It says acne stress control. And honestly, I think it has been working a lot. So I love it. So I had to restock. And then I bought this one. It says anti-stress dead sea minerals clay mask. 
so let's see if it's good i'm gonna try it out i think it was really affordable i mean like four bucks and i was like be let me try it out even though i already have a lot of little face masks i also wanted to try out the um pawns dry screen dry skin cream facial moisture moisture facial moisturizer because i know my mom and different people use this and i've always been like oh i thought it was just like crema but now i'm like oh it really is more like a moisturizer so i really need to put i need to i need to get to my skin i feel like now i'm starting to care little by little more about my skincare you know and i feel like that's everybody you know but anyways i also bought this i think this is gonna be lit guys so it says app activated tracking system with alarm as you guys can see right there i think it's like a little bluetooth thing that you put it on you put it on your keys and then it'll be bluetooth with your phone and like you can make it beep and sound when you lose them basically you could track your keys or if you put it onto something else like it could track that but obviously i'm gonna put it on my keys just to track it like if i ever lose them or you never know chanel grabs them out of my purse i can just press it on my phone and then i guess it makes like a noise and you hear it and i believe it was only like four or five bucks at walmart i want to say that but yeah this is the one guys i'll let you guys know now we have this little laundry uh mesh three bag laundry sorter that uh bubba got it was at walmart as well i think it was only 11 dollars, and it's separate into three like little containers but it has wheels um and yeah basically we're excited because this one he's gonna be able to separate his clothes like from his work clothes to his like going out clothes to keep it separate because baby they're two different things okay they should be kept separate so this is cute i'm gonna show you guys when we actually built it and now i'm excited this is another thing that we got guys boom a little um to go bed i guess you could call it it's called my cot um and obviously it's for baby girl i think it's for like I forgot. it ranges i don't know it says para niños they ask that 34k oh but for okay as long as it, it goes up to 75 pounds basically so chanel stood good on that end and it folds up and i'm and honestly this is a must have this is a one of our best purchases just like that you see it i'm gonna insert a picture of baby girl actually sitting on this thing but look how quick you can like fold this up you see that okay like we can carry this on the go for when baby gets tired and have her like lay down take a nap relax you know what i mean because now obviously like the stroller um she's not she's not really with it anymore you know what i mean um especially when it's when it comes to being tired and wanting to lay down so that was honestly a must-have we found it for 20 dollars at ross but they also had it at walmart for like 24.99 so either way if you don't find it like a store like that be sure to look at um at walmart because it for sure will have it and i definitely feel like it's a must-have i'm gonna go ahead and insert a clip of baby girl right now yeah she loves it these are obviously like laundry baskets but i'm gonna i'm gonna probably use them either as toy baskets for chanel or for my own purposes like clothing wise i don't know so honestly or my business stuff i really don't know but i just bought two because they were freaking cheap at these guys they were 4.99 five dollars and i was like bitch i feel like they look cute because it's like a little blush faded away pink so it doesn't i don't feel like it looks like too much and i feel like it could look cute in the living room with her toys or um like i said either for my clothes or her clothes purposes i don't know as you guys can see but yeah two baskets for five dollars each i thought it was a definitely a steal okay so now yeah this is the other mat that i just bought it was 3.99 because the one that bubba bought i believe was like five six dollars at walmart and this one was only four dollars and it's just like a plain you know comfy cushiony black mat so i was like we need this because like i said that's kind of like the theme that we have going on so i got that one for four dollars and then two more items um i got this these are so freaking cute look you guys see that marble 2.99 at dds and basically it's just you see this it goes on your stove or you know next to your like your um your kitchen uh, what is it called damn i don't know how to call it i'm tripping counter your counter and you know how when you're cooking you don't know where to put your spoon your like your cooking spoon or whatever your spatula whatever it's called so this is what that is for so that way it doesn't like get dirty or you don't dirty the area or it doesn't get hot on the stove whatever the case is it's just for all those purposes and you just lay it right here i honestly regret i should have bought like two or three more so next time i go i'm gonna be sure to pick up at least like two more for sure but 2.99 and they're so freaking cute good quality super cute um 
next thing that I got was this, which I'm super excited for, guys. You guys see this? It's like a little, I don't know what to call it. Oh, let me see the names. Three tier space saver. Yeah, that's literally what I wanted for. That's what I wanted to space save space, but also to put like up here. I'm gonna put like my my like strainer, my like um, you know what I mean, like all my uh face cleaning, my skincare, all my you know what I mean, all the extra stuff like my strainers, all of that. And then obviously I'm not gonna put it under the toilet because we already have a shelf a shelf on top of our toilet. But you guys, I'm gonna show you guys the area where I want to put this in. But it'll be super cute just to support, like just to put more of like my extra like beauty stuff if that makes sense. So I'm super excited about this one. It's gray. It costed sixteen. It costed sixteen ninety nine, which I thought the super was super super cheap, like super cheap to me. Semi so cheap. And then another thing that was cheap was this ten ninety nine for this huge. For this huge, look how big this is, laundry basket. So freaking huge and it's super cute. They have more, so obviously I was like, <gasps> I couldn't decide, but yeah, this is the one I'm gonna use for my laundry clothes for sure because your girl got a lot of clothes, okay? So I definitely love this for $10.99. It cannot get any better than that. And yeah, that's it for the most part. But anyways, guys, I'm gonna start getting ready to go as we go because it's getting late and Boba has some errands to do, but yeah, I just wanted to show you guys some of the stuff and um, um, yeah. So, excuse my dirty core because Boba's been taken to her, but look at the truck, oh. the jam. <laughs> you know, again. Well, I did not recognize me, so we're right here going to meet your tune. The OG mechanic from the fam. No, I'm playing. No. Yeah, Mr. Tune always fixes um, our, anything anything with our cars or changes the oil or changes, you know, anything basic, anything basically does it out, okay? So, siempre traemos nuestros cars, um, like even back when I had my Impala. All them and um, my dad would always be here with my uncle. Siempre le traes sus cars for him to look at. So yeah, every time I see him, I can just I can't help but think of my freaking dad. Any every time because literally they were always together, and my um, my dad would always be bringing his cars to me. But every time that I see him, I just automatically think like, oh, my dad would be here with him. But yeah, anyway, so Bo was bringing Bo brought um, le van a cambiar las bujías a su troca. So yeah, that's why he came with my uncle and I came in the car because we're gonna leave the truck here and then we're gonna take off in my car and Bob already dropped off his pants to get starched but we're probably going to stop by to pay stop by Timo to pay her phones and what else? Um probably pick up my brother Juan and we're we'll probably buy some something to make. I have some carne que me traje. We're gonna make it at my mom's because my mom's making her tortillas harina, which our bomb with beans and so yo me traje la carne, el viste, we're about to make it over there and yeah we're about to eat good and then I know we had to drop off a sticker that we made for um, a car decal that we made for Nestor, a friend of ours and then I'm pretty sure after that we need to get going back home to you know continue the cleaning and building of the things that I showed you guys but also to um what was I gonna say Oh yeah, because we have some stickers to make. If you want to see what they turn out, follow Doll Magic, like I said. So yeah, honestly, like I said, this whole move out process has been very draining, drastic. It was just an opportunity that we had like out of nowhere. And yeah, so we took it and we moved. Um, I believe it was like, my birthday was Tuesday or Wednesday. I think it was Tuesday and then, or Wednesday. I keep saying Tuesday, I really don't know. And then on Saturday, yeah, because on Saturday was Aiden's birthday, and then literally on Sunday, estaba toda cruda, amanecida. Later on, you guys will see the vlog, but estaba cruda, amanecida, and literally feeling like shit. And we had to start packing and leaving, um, taking our things. We started packing and taking our things that Sunday, so it was, it was a pain. So we did that Sunday, and then Monday it was nothing but busting our ass, boom, boom, boom back and forth and then i think we still did tuesday 
uh, I think we still did the same thing on Tuesday and I believe it was until like Wednesday when I feel we fully finished to the point where I, I it was just a little bit of things left over and things that I um, I just like I got a chance to vacuum and clean the restroom limpia el baño, la taza, everything uh, Windex on the freaking mirrors the cabinets, all of that and aspiramos you know vacuum and everything and then i just it was just like a, the vacuum cleaner and like maybe like a few like four little things that we had to carry come back and get the next day but yeah it was you know it was a process basically the whole week it was either i was cleaning either in our new home or in the or in the apartment you know and it was just it was draining and then I was in the process of trying to launch my mink lashes because I just feel like it was time. It's because, honestly, the thing that happens with me in the past, like, I've, I've had a lot of products on me, like I said, because I, I want my, you know, my business to expand. It's um, it definitely has, you know, like, have a variety of things. And I've purchased the things, but I take a while to launch them because I end up just being busy and I want to, you know, take good content, um, take good product pictures and etc. Or like promote it the right way. And I end up, because of that, just putting it off. And then sometimes I just take forever to launch. But now I'm, I'm trying to push on it. So that's why I was like, no, I'm not going to hold these mink lashes for forever. I need to go ahead and launch them already. So I did that. And then when it comes to the... Um, I still have the anklets that I haven't launched, which you guys know that I've been having. I still have the earrings, which are not these, but, you know, the other cute little, you know, a classy earrings um, that I haven't launched, but I've been having. Um, and the anklets, I already took the pictures. I just have to launch them. The um, earrings as well, I just need to take the pictures. Um, and yeah i still have other um foaming collection the second foaming collection of lash dolls that is also really bomb that i still never even launched because i didn't finish taking product pictures but i had those since how long months ago i'm talking about probably more than like six months ago probably and i had and i i just to this day still haven't launched them and the reason being simply because like I said, time purposes, I know I took like two pictures of two lash dolls and then the other ones I just, I never take the time to do so. So right now I'm really pushing on it. I'm basically splitting myself what I see. I'm trying to devote to YouTube or like focus what I see, like take no more breaks because I, I, I didn't take them because I wanted to. I take them because I needed to for school. But now that all that's over with, um, now that the move is over over with, um, I've, we're, we've slowly but surely been decorating our home and like not decorating instead of decorating but i mean like fixing it up cleaning putting things where it goes not completely finish it um but i feel like we're at least it's not a mess you know like at first when we brought everything to the living room it was just you know and now everything at least the living room is clear it's breathable we have our little dining table that my mother-in-law gave um gave us so it's like we already have a good little start everything you know starting to be put together um and I'm, like i said you guys saw the little purchases that i've been making so i'm like slowly putting it together as well as my business wise like i launched my mink lashes so i know i have one thing out of the way i have more things coming though i want to have like a legit photo shoot for my lashes for this collection as well as like my mink collection like i said i've been focused as well as for my baby it's just been so much you know like little errands and i had to change the internet over here i had to call for light i have to call you know it's it's a hassle but i've been getting things done so I'm proud of that. And yeah, so now, um, what else? What is we doing? I'm in the car and waiting for Bubba. I'm guessing we're going to wait a moment go. I really don't know. But, um, but yeah, I'm just trying to, I'm just talking at this point. I need to stop. So we're here. So we ran a few errands. Bo went to the bank and I was waiting for him in the car. And now I just dropped him off. He went to go pick up the truck because it's ready. My uncle already finished it up. And now we came real quick over here to my mom's. And yeah, vamos a comer. And hey, Nana. Yes. But this sun is giving me life though. Also, um, I'm pretty sure I showed this little cute little plant. Look how cute it looks on the little mesa. Right now, obviously, I have it occupied because I'm working with Bobo. We're going to make some stickers for our friends. And guys, I also invested in another camera. What? And it is my old camera. Can you believe that? So, obviously, I'm sorry. I already put my fingerprints on it. But 
right now i'm recording with um the canon m50 which is my new camera in case you guys aren't aware that it's my new camera but this is technically my old camera this is the camera that i had before i bought this one right here but i had sold it because i obviously wanted the canon g7x so i wanted to upgrade because obviously as you guys see this is the canon uh power shot sx 740 hs or whatever and um i had the same camera right but i like i said i love the quality it was good for vlogging it was basically just like the canon g7x but but i was just like you know what i wanted to invest into the actual one which was the canon g7x which was the original one that i wanted because it's just like 200 dollars or so more so i was like might as well let me just sell this one and then buy the new one that i want just because like the only thing about this one is that i feel like when when i'm filming in the dark it loses its quality but when i'm in good lighting like daylight or like outside like um or with my ring light it, it films perfect so honestly long story short i had sold it i sold it very very cheap to be honest um just because i already had purchased this camera and i was like let me just get some money back for this one right but then now that i have this camera obviously i've been vlogging on this one but honestly i feel like it's kind of bulky and big so even though i have like my little oh sorry i'm sitting on it my little like small you know small little carry bag this is exactly where it fits i still feel like it's kind of big to carry for example like i cannot have it like in every purse like it doesn't fit every purse if that makes sense i feel like it only fits you know like it would fit in my big bags but it wouldn't per se fit in like one of my small purses it's not something that i feel like so easily like i could just pull out my camera fast and vlog so i feel like there's been moments these past weeks or so that or months i guess that i haven't vlogged like everything that i wish just because either sometimes i i'm off at the store and i didn't bring my camera down or because like i said because of the bag or i'm like somewhere and i just didn't bring it down or i didn't you know i just can't get to it quick enough but then i was like damn well i really not want to invest in the g7x still because i feel like the i'm more of a vlogger 24 7 versus here and there sit down videos so i feel like i was like i, I feel like the other one is a little bit more convenient for vlogging of course because it's smaller and for example um i was considering going to the club for my birthday but obviously because of covid19 like that was out but i was like for example like that's just an example last year well yeah last year when i went on for my birthday i was able to sneak in my i was able to take my camera because i took this little baggie which now is like really dirty guys but anyways this little guest baggie but anyways um i was able to carry it as a clutch and i put my camera in it and i was able to still vlog inside the club but of course i was like now with this camera i was like there's no way i'm gonna be able to vlog with this camera and take it so i was like i'm gonna have to vlog through my phone but which look at my cute little case guys but anyways so then i was like oh my god i really wish to go back to this one at least i was like if or if i can at least buy the same one that i bought i was like for cheap just to have an extra camera to vlog would be great i was like of course if i could get the g7x better but then long story short i found it on offer up and i was like obviously like i said this is not the exact one that i had of course like somebody else another guy had purchased mine but i purchased this from some someone else from another guy and i'm just so happy and excited guys like i said um the quality of this one okay let me pop it open the quality of this one is still good guys so i feel like this is such a good beginner's camera can you guys see look how crispy clear that cam the vlog i mean the you see and i miss this like obviously this camera that i'm recording you guys see how it's pretty bigger like it's bigger and but like look at this one this one's tinier you guys see that like i just missed it and i was like with this one i feel like i was literally able to put it in my pocket if i really needed to if i'm wearing a hoodie or something this one like as you guys can see is a little bit more like bigger and everything obviously the, uh, the quality of the one that i am um actually vlogging with right now is better than this one in front of us but this one is still bomb it's still you know like i said with bright lighting it gives you crispy clearness so i feel like this is such a good camera if you're barely starting and if you're barely starting and are on a budget i definitely would recommend this camera i feel like it's such a good dupe of the canon g7x because it's basically the exact same shape practically the same i think the only difference is that with the g7x you get a little bit more crispiness when it comes to like if you're in a darker area it'll still probably the quality will still manage to be a little bit more clear than this one but like i said this one for the most part most of the time you guys see my previous videos they're pretty crispy clear so long story short 
I'm super excited that I am basically I bought my old camera again. I'm so excited. I was so happy. I got a good deal, good deal on it as well. And as well as I bought this Mac um desktop. I think my camera lens is dirty. I need to clean it. Definitely see that little spot right there. OMG. But anyways. I'm super excited about this. I feel like I've made two investments that I've been wanting. I wanted another Apple product. Of course, I have my iPads, like I mentioned, but having like an actual like Apple computer, it's completely different, especially when working with Photoshop and editing and all kinds of sorts of things. So I'm <clears throat> super excited that I actually have this one right here. And then my future goal, like you guys know, I want to give me a MacBook still just to have one on the go. And I'm probably still going to keep my 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 laptop that i have now like my i feel like these are like my favorite purchases right now because i already have my good quality camera which is right here boom boom and now i finally have like something that i feel like i can count on 24 7 um like i said it was worth the investment and then i have my little extra vlogging camera that i feel like i can carry at all times um for example like if i went to mexico where you know it might be a little bit like dangerous carrying like luxurious things or whatever luxurious things i wouldn't want to carry like this big old camera you know where it's la vista and somebody can try to steal it or that, that or you know things of that nature i can definitely feel comfortable carrying this camera which i did when i went to go visit my dad you know something small where i can still pull it out and record and it won't grab people's attention if that makes sense so i definitely am super excited about these purchases purchases yeah excuse me looking rough i need to clean my camera but yeah um i'm super excited that i've made these purchases like i said they're definitely investments um and yeah i'm so excited i'm not gonna show boba but he's over there building that right there let's see how it looks why well, chanel's over here trying to make a mess chanel Good. Okay guys, so I am back with my Rebel, of course, because I need my daily dose. No, I'm just kidding. I don't drink this every day. But, but I will say yesterday I slept at freaking 6 something with my baby because she wouldn't go to sleep. So I definitely need this. I literally only got a few hours of sleep because we slept at 6. So just imagine. But anyways, um, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, so this is what they look like. Boba built there's some egg oh, my baby dropped it but anyways this is what it looks like boba built them so this is the one that i said it was like a little like a, this is the one that i said was like a little cabinet which was well, not a cabinet but i don't know what to call it um which i'm like i said i'm gonna probably put it in my business room i feel like it's most likely like a 80 percent chance i'm gonna put this in my business room because i i feel like i can definitely divide everything up like with my little um buckets and things like that that i always use to divide like and organize my things so i kind of feel like it would be definitely great for storage it's average good height so most likely it'll go in my business room but there's a small small slight chance i might put it in my room for extra storage like to put my jeans or just my purses i really don't know but i really like it and i love that it's black and gray it goes perfect with our theme so i actually really like it and i so i actually really like that it goes it's our it's our color scheme and everything but like I, like I said I'm going to figure it out I really don't know but I'm most likely in the business room though um and then this one is the other one which like I said it's like a restroom rack or whatever you want to call it but I'm gonna still use it for the restroom but I'm not gonna put it like um on top of the toilet if that makes sense I'm gonna put it in an empty wall and I plan on putting like my strainers and like skincare and like extra things that I have like makeup stuff or whatever that doesn't fit in like the little vanity area I guess that I have in the restroom so yeah, I'm really excited about what built this. Now let's look at the other thing he Okay guys, so this is a little laundry area and this is the one that Bubba bought, which like I said, it comes so convenient. It's a little rolling cart, like I mentioned. I, we got it at Walmart for $11 and look, it has the three dividers. Obviously he already started storing some clothes in that one, work clothes, but like I said, I love how it's divided up. And like I said, it's really easy to just roll and push back take it back and forth so i think that is awesome also guys we just got our washer and our dryer shout out to my uncle mi tio benito bomb prices um obviously like it's not new clearly but he um basically this is the field that my uncle worked in so he always hooks it up and has some bomb deals so if you need 
a lavadora, a secadora, a fridge, or anything like that, hit me up and I'll give you his information. Um, but yeah, anyways, shout out to my uncle. We got this. I'm so excited and happy. This is one of the main reasons why we wanted to move out because we wanted to be able to wash our own clothes from home and everything. So I'm super excited. That's how you know you've grown. You get excited about having like a lavadora and secador. All right, guys, that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. I hope that you guys are kind of um, caught up to date, I guess, on what's been going on in my life and also have like a vision of where i'm headed with this channel and the content that's coming your way as well as business wise and just a little bit of everything of where i've been why i've been in my and what's coming um but yeah i'm just super excited for this new journey this new home this new space i definitely feel like i can breathe more i'm you know i'm living like i'm living i'm breathing i'm thinking i'm like noticing and realizing things and i'm um, analyzing things but i'm planning things okay i'm gonna work on me for sure and everything like i'm in this i i always consider this like i'm in this by myself and i'm gonna make it out of here by myself just to be able to help out the people that i love which is my family so yeah anyways so thank you guys for watching i hope you guys enjoyed it please be sure to hit that subscribe button and hit the little bell so you don't miss a video um and yeah just join my dogging like i said this is a movement and one day i promise for you guys we're gonna make it anyways um thank you guys for all your support if you're still riding with me if you support me even on my bad content my good content if you support me through anything in any type of way thank you guys so much i really really appreciate the support it will never go unnoticed and yeah just stay tuned because i promise you a better version of me my life and everything is coming your way bye guys